In this video, we're going to talk about actually creating a custom report within Plan Swift. Now, you can see I'm on my estimating tab with my project open, and you can see I have a variety of different types listed in here. Um, and again, this, this report's going to be geared towards uh, reporting against uh, the types, which is the way I prefer to do it. Um, you can certainly create reports to report against the different uh, property or, or different field. Here I have um, several things represented. I have equipment, I have uh, material, I have labor, um, I have some subcontract items. If we go to the reports right now, I have our basic reports in Plan Swift. I also have some that I have created for myself and I have, have one that I just simply called Master Format. Um, and that's kind of the one I build all of my reports off of. I've built into this format um, the color scheme that I, I like to use, the fonts, the font sizes, all of that information is already taken care of, so it's been customized to that point. What I can do here is start filtering based on what I want to see. So if I just list it out uh, in plain view here, my base filter is based on my types. So let me open up that custom filter. What this is saying is that where I have the item type and any of these types are in this group is what essentially is what it's saying. So I have my type selected. I am in part, material, equipment, other, subcontractor, labor. Um, if I was looking for just one type of an item, what I would do is, let me remove that, I'll add a new condition. I'll select what I'm going to uh, look for in that condition. So in my case, I'm going to use type. Um, and, and something else to, to keep in mind as you're looking, you, you look at that list. And in the earlier video, you heard me say that um, you can report against all of your properties. And that is true. What this list represents are the columns that were defined for this report. So I'm just going to take a step back here. Let me cancel this. If I go under my columns, and this is again specific to only this report, these are the columns that I have uh, in this report. I could add additional columns here and have those options available to me under the, uh, under the custom filter. So let me open up our filter one more time. And you'll see um, I've got my type selected. And maybe I just want to look for a certain material. So I'm going to change from it being in a group to equaling a specific item type. So I'll just say where my type is equal to other. OK. And when I apply that filter, you'll see it now narrowed down the options to only displaying what is in that other type. If I change that to labor, again, apply it, that's what's going to be available. Now there are some other functions that are that are kind of nice. Um, maybe if I were looking for, uh, let me take this back out, maybe I were looking for a certain name or just trying to filter out maybe I could didn't have things quite uh, laid out the way I had hoped if I was looking for um, a certain object I could certainly do that by using uh, something like the name field um, maybe I wanted to pull up anything that had the number 16 in it I could add that condition go to name um, I could say where the name is like and type in the number 16 and let me see if that gives me a result that doesn't give me a result so let me go back and modify 16 to be a percent 16 percent now that percent character is actually the wild card for doing the sort so it's saying anything before the number 16 and anything after the number 16 so now if I click apply I should see all the items that have the number 16 listed. 
Now I'm back out to my entire list and when you're not doing any filtering at all uh, you'll see that you're seeing the entire list of objects that make up that job and this is every individual segment um, every individual section of an area um, so it's actually sh breaking down the entire project and displaying all of the objects. If I wanted to filter it down um, and not include some of these things again I'll go to my filter and I should have is item I'll leave that equals true is item meaning it is a takeoff item and apply that and now you'll see that anything that is an item which is the parent object um, individual digitizers or the parts and the material themselves so that's displaying just everything in a more concise view so let me go back to my original filter where my type is in a cer certain group of criteria so if I put in material add a new item uh, labor equipment other and subcontract I'll apply that and now I'm just seeing those items without the actual takeoff measurement these are just my quantitative takeoff items now let's start talking about grouping um, the way the groups work is pretty simple whatever visible columns are, are shown I can just left click one of the column headings and drag it into the uh, gray bar just above the reports and you'll see now I'm grouping by the type and the groups are labor material other and subcontract if I expand those you'll see the respective items grouped underneath you don't have to have the icons on uh, by the way uh, I, I like to keep them on because it gives me a great visual reference as to what the item type is so now I have my description um, my name and you'll see that in some of these items um, there'll be the same name twice uh, it's actually being taken off twice well here we go framing labor is in there twice so maybe I want to keep all my framing labor together so if I group again by the name it's going to first sort by the type which is labor and then it's going to sort by the name so framing labor if I expand that column now you'll see I have my framing labor um, is totaled together and it's giving me a total of the two in the uh, grouping now I could also turn on the group footer by right clicking and turning on the group footer and you'll see it gives me a subtotal at the bottom of each group you can just drag that uh, grouping back into the list um, if you don't want to see the column you can remove the column or you can just drag it to where you see the black X and let go of the mouse and it will remove that item if you click this little box in the left you can see I have um, the ability just to turn on what other columns that I want to see whatever had been turned on or is is actually listed under the columns that you've uh, selected to, as being visible so you can turn those on and off